Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolner. This is the 14th of February, 2019. Just read an article published on the Miami Herald, and uh, it was written by Kevin G. Hall, H-A-L-L, -L, published on the 12th of February, 2019. And the title, 12 months, nearly 1,200 deaths the year in youth gun violence in Sparkland. Hmm. You know, you've heard me say that Europe is a snapshot of America's future. And I did a video a short while ago. I think on average there's 40 knife attacks in England each day. 40. Now, I think that's got Chicago beat by a whole lot. Don't know how many of those die, but I suspect a number of them do die. The reality is that they're going to find a way to do whatever they want to do. Whether it's guns, knives, hammers, screwdrivers, bombs, they'll find a way. After the slaughter of 14 students and three adults in Parkland, Florida on Valentine's Day, Parents demanded new laws and students lit up social media. They registered young voters and organized a massive rally called the March for Our Lives. They called their movement Never Again. Then it happened again. Ninety-four days later, eight students and two teachers were mowed down by a gunman at a high school in Santa Fe, Texas. And it happened again and again in dribs and drabs, on street corners, in backyards, and in homes. Young people obliterated by gunfire. So does anyone really believe that if someone wants to kill someone and they don't have access to a gun, they're going to find a way to do it like they're doing in England with machetes? Hmm? The 12-month period starting February the 14th, 2018, saw nearly 1,200 lives snuffed out. That's a Parkland every five days. Enough victims to fill three ultra-wide Boeing 777s. The true number is certainly higher because no government agency keeps a real-time tally, and funding for research is restricted by law. Hmm. You want to read the article? And again, it's uh, most interesting, but it doesn't solve the real problem. The real problem is the endless attacks on the Second Amendment. You know, the Constitution guarantees us the ability to bear arms, but that isn't true. Depends on where you live. You live in New York, you can't bear arms. Or if you can, it's incredibly difficult and expensive. You live in Chicago, in Illinois, the same kind of scenario. Most blue states have very restrictive gun laws. Yet all of those people that make the laws have 24-7 armed protection. Right, Kamala Harris? Hmm? Folks, they're going to find a way and England, again, has shown us that when guns are taken away, they find other ways to kill each other. What's the answer? Well, the answer is less government control, more personal family involvement, and what's been taken away, religion. Religion has been taken away, and it's been taken away for a long time, but full throttle under the half-baked Islamic extremist, fudge pack and Sunni, homosexual, Muslim, bastard, communist, spy, Arab, Barack Hussein Obama, shacked up with a transgender, Big Mike. Folks, Guns aren't the problem. The problem? Our government. That's the problem. All of these mass shootings orchestrated by MKUltra, the Murray Building in Oklahoma, 
they found two unexploded bombs inside the building. Look at the devastation. It was blown out, not in. Folks, 9-11. Who do you think did all that? Well, you know if you've been watching SolomonReport.com, don't you? You want to repost this in your social media accounts? Pass it along to like-minded friends. The carnage won't end.